Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Fischel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I have decided that I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial, my everyday makeup look. So, without further, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing I do when I'm at the house is use this eye smolder. This is good for your skin also as when you put makeup on. I got this from TikTok and I'm gonna link down below. Oh guys, what I love doing in the morning is just get this molder and then like massage it on my face. This is literally my one of my favorite part in the morning. Also guys, um, you can literally have it like this but mine is just finished. I've been using this for a while without changing the water. And after I do this, I just like put it in a freezer. That's why it look like this, but it will also be like that. I don't know how to explain it. Now I'm done because my face is literally so red. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna change it. So I'm not gonna put it in the freezer right away. But um, I'm gonna get some tissue. Where is the tissue? So, and then don't be hard when rubbing your face. I'm gonna put this moisturizer that I got from the Watsons. It's Tomato Glass Skin. I think it's 129, 124. I'm not really sure. But this has been my favorite moisturizer because after putting it, I've seen a result quickly. Because I'm the type of person who has a dry skin, so moisturizer is one of the best thing I put on my face. You can literally tell the difference after I put the moisturizer on. Then I let it dry for like 2 minutes. I've been using this for years now. I use this as my sunscreen, not gonna lie. But I love this so much because it makes my skin glow. I mean my face skin glow. I love to put it in my under eye because it's so brown since I'm sleeping so late. I make sure to like really set it in my face because I am a morena person so it has to be the same color as my arms or else I'm gonna look an espasol. No one's gonna like that. So it's now set and as you can tell, I really love my skin after putting the moisturizer and ole. And then after that, I really start with my eyebrows guys and for my, for my eyebrow, I'm using this uh, Maybelline Tattoo Studio Bro Pomade that I got from my sister. I start at the end. As you can really tell, I already have my eyebrow, but I need to fill them in. And I've just discovered it now that I can also like use this as my eyebrow. So like I get a little bit of this. And like I love this palette so much guys, because you can use this eyebrow, you can also use this as shadow, stuff like that, and blush. I literally use this as my blush, this too. I just mix black here and like faded in here. Let's do the other side. Fun fact about my eyebrow guys is not when I did eyebrow tattoo, the girl was like, I'm not gonna be able to level them because your eyebrow is naturally not the same. Hair is so different from this eyebrow, so I'm just gonna deal with it and like fill them in because mostly this is the eyebrow that needs to be fill in as you can really tell and just like draw in eyebrow stuff like that don't have anything that inside so this is what i use to brush my eyebrow hair so that it will like come up a bit it's time to shape them in so that it will be look flick flick so I'm using this pink flush foundation that I got from Shopee and using this brush that I got from Shein like that. This is harder than I thought because usually when I do my makeup, I just like do that. But I'm shy at the camera so I'm not gonna do that. But can you tell I need to focus? So yeah. I know I look crazy right now, but trust the process. So the remaining um, foundation, I just put it in my hair. Don't like do that, guys. Don't do that. Jude. That's the biggest mistake you'll do whenever you're doing your makeup. Be patient. My New Year's resolution. Let's talk about that. Okay, my New Year's resolution is to be smart, to study, 
and what else and to be consistent in my workout though i'm gonna be busy at school but i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna try my best mi amor okay after i push it with some sponge i just usually finish it with like this you know guys eyebrows is the most difficult thing i do during my makeup that's why i always pull my eyebrows first because i wanted them to be perfect and what i mean by perfect is that i will be satisfied of my eyebrows that day how's my eyebrows you all i'm a catfish uh, i'm just gonna put some foundation in on my face i really love doing this to my face because it's so therapeutic like so i'm just gonna put some carmax on my lips because i don't want dry lips i literally don't like it so yeah i use this carmex honestly i've i have this for like three years i don't know my sister um and bought me this and i also i've already told you guys in my other video i love carmex it's like my lover you know me being exaggerated izzy and co contour i usually don't put in here because it's already perfect for me. <laughs> Fine, my jawline is um, killing it. So I'm just gonna put it in my cheekbone and on my nose because <laughs> bitch, we need a nose line. Bitch. Like that. And here. Don't be too scared to put nose line, guys. Here. Oh my gosh, it's so hewe. But don't panic if it's hewe. You can literally fix that. And then put it like that. And then here, on the tip of your nose. Wait for the go. Let it be for a while. I'm just joking. You can literally just mix it, but what I do is just leave them alone. We leave them alone. Oh, where I put it is just like where my shadow is. Like you can see here. Do that and tapping a little bit of. I don't want to finish this because I still don't have the money to replace my easy and co contour um yeah like just like do that a little bit a little bit because i don't have really fat face so i just need a little bit that's what's going on in my face right now under construction we <laughs> create a dip okay and then i use this brush to like mix it together we mix This is my mother, very beautiful, like me, of course. And for my contour, just trust the process, guys. I'm not done yet and at my nose. After that, guys, I just usually just like do that. Create that. You can tell. Wee, for the one. Love it! Perfect. And then here. Basically, just like do this. So, I've been using this for many weeks now so since I don't have that shit um, we're gonna try this face powder face powder yeah face you like do that and tang, like that that up and like that simple and then truck let it set for like two minutes don't put it for too long because it's gonna make your face cake i don't know what's true because they say it you should put it for a long time so that your face won't be cakey i don't know what's the truth you all but i don't know where i put my big brush damn no where's my big brush so while it's setting guys i'm gonna put some eyeshadow but i'm going to use the uh, i use from my nose line just like to make it brown a little bit and like i usually push it here where the eyelids are i'm gonna not gonna be able to do that stuff so i'm just gonna proceed to the uh, mascara i use this hyper curl because it's a lot cheaper than the uh, sky high i only bought sky high for once because it's literally so expensive so the the tips is you just like do the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i usually put here some powder in the center sorry i forgot after that guys i just brush slowly and carefully and clean it so that it will this powder that we set in our face just like do that i'm not done with my nose so i don't laugh 
since my nose is not the way I want it to be I'm just gonna dot a foundation a little bit of it and then spread it because we have to have that tip you all we have to have it and then here as well that's the thing that I want it to be my blush I'm using this pink flush lipstick I know guys I don't like this lipstick and I really wanted to use this because it's so cyan if I don't so I'm just gonna put it in my cheek just a little bit of it <laughs> So before I started college, I love putting liner, but I realize now that it's a bit too much to just a regular day, so I'm not gonna put it. But if you love eyeliner, then do it, bitch. Do what makes you happy, okay? Sometimes though, I love putting it, so sometimes I put a, bit, a little bit in here. We're going to do our lips now. Get the Carmex out of it. You can literally tell how healthy my lips are using that Carmax. I really love putting lip liners. So what I use is this palette that I got from she Shein. It's called She Glam. They call it She Glam. I love this palette because it has everything I need for my daily basis makeup routine. So I just like do this. It's called Deep Thinker. Okay, now we're gonna like And this is one of the best part that I'm gonna put on my face I'm using this her orange that just put a little bit because I don't want it too much And then Oh my gosh, I love it. We will never ever forget my favorite part of makeup is Lip gloss, of course we want that lips to be like really <sighs> just make it shiny you know oh, you're so pretty last part would be putting this highlighter so my highlighter before is btla and i literally dropped it and it got cracked that's the reason i changed into some caroline but i caroline is btla is the best for me we have our own perspective so we have different comments about some makeup products but what works best for me is btla and this is my sister shallow's btla that also got cracked and i asked her to give it to me since she's not using makeup so i just pretty much put it in my lips i'm so shiny and on the tip of your nose and up up here and i don't usually put it here because it's kind of dirty and so i wanted this to be like clean girl type of look and i'm just put it in here just to make it oh so pretty so i'm just gonna like finalize my look right now i'll be back do a transition one, two, three. Oh God. So guys, that will be the end of the video, but I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and somehow you learned something about my everyday makeup look. And yeah, don't forget that I love you guys so, so much and I love you guys so, so much. Bye.